Start by drawing your horizon line. Next, we're going to begin adding color to our sky, which for this project will be our background. You may choose to have a day or evening and use any colors that you would like. Once you are finished with color in your sky, you will need to add brown to the middle ground and foreground. On your second sheet of paper, you will now be drawing three cacti, one big, one medium, and one small. The variations in sizes will help to show depth and space in our final project. Please remember, it is okay if you make mistakes. Mistakes are proof that you're trying. Once you are finished with your drawings, you can begin adding color to your cacti. Next, you will need to cut out your cacti. If you chose to paint yours, please don't do like Miss Bradley and try to cut them while they're still wet. Now it's time to glue our cacti to our background. You are going to start with the biggest cactus, which will need to be glued in the foreground or closest to the bottom of your paper. The medium cactus will be glued in the middle ground, which should be located somewhere between your horizon line and the bottom of your paper. Finally, you will glue your smallest cactus close to the horizon line. Now for the details. In my household, we call these prickly pawpaws. You're going to need a black sharpie, pen, colored pencil, or crayon to go along and add small dashed lines on the outside edges and the body of your cacti. 